Thank you for viewing this video by the American Sewing Guild. This video will show you how to make a dauber and how it is used for pressing natural fiber fabrics. A dauber is a tool like any other pressing aid. It is used to add moisture to a specific area when pressing. Let's get started. To do this project, you will need a piece of wool and some strong thread. Use either three or four strands of embroidery floss or any other strong thread. Begin with a 3.5 inch wide and 12 to 14 inch long piece of medium lightweight wool like would be used for suiting. It should be light in color. Press the wool lightly using lots of seams so any shrinkage is pressed out of the fabric. Turn the wool lengthwise towards you. At the lower edge begin very tightly rolling up the fabric. Work in small sections, rolling up the fabric tightly. Try and keep both sides even as the fabric is rolled. Continue rolling all the way to the other end. The roll should be about 1 inch in diameter with a tight center. As you can see, the center has an open area. The roll should also be firm and not squishy like this one is. If the center is not tight but it has a hole, just begin again. It may be helpful to fold up about one half inch of fabric at the bottom first and then begin rolling the fabric. I found for this fabric it made the center nice and tight. Pull the fabric toward you as you continue to roll the fabric. Roll the fabric all the way to the end. This time the center is nice and tight. Now use a few pins to temporarily hold the end in place. Separate three or four threads of embroidery floss or use a different type of strong thread. Use a large eye needle like a tapestry needle. Thread the needle with the thread. Secure the end of the thread by taking a few stitches in place just under the cut edge of the fabric. Place the end back in place. To secure the dauber, wrap the thread away from you and around the fabric roll. Gently pull on the thread to make it snug. Now take the needle and place it under the wrapped thread right at the cut edge of the fabric. This will create a blanket stitch. Lay the thread along the edge of the fabric and hold it in place with your thumb about 3 eighths of an inch away from the first wrap. Wrap the thread away from you once again around the fabric roll. Rewrap if needed to position the thread correctly. Place the needle under the wrap thread and pull the thread taut. Again, just pull the thread taut and lay the thread along the cut edge of the roll again. Position your thumb about 3 eighths of an inch away once again and just continue the process of wrapping and securing the thread. As needed, adjust the threads into position so they are parallel to each other. Continue with as many wraps as needed to the end. At the end of the roll, do one last wrap and place the needle under the wrap thread 
and pull the thread taut. Now take a few stitches through two or three layers of fabric. and wrap the thread around the needle a few times to create a knot. Clip the thread, and you've completed the dauber. The thread secures the fabric together around the roll and across the cut edge of the fabric, and the center is nice and tight. Now let's talk about how to use the dauber for pressing. To press the fabric using the dauber, I'll demonstrate with a seam in this wool fabric. A small amount of water is needed and pressing aids are helpful, like a pressing board and a silk organza pressing cloth. First, press the seam flat to set the stitches. Use a pressing cloth or, like I have, a specialty sole plate on my iron. This prevents shine on the wool fabric. Place the seam on the appropriate edge of the wooden pressing tool. This demonstration fabric is a straight seam, so I'll use the straight edge of the tailor board. And pick up the dauber and moisten the end with just a bit of water. Tap the end of the dauber against the bowl, and then tap it against the ironing board or on a towel to remove any excess water so it isn't dripping. Finger press open the seam and simply dab the water on the seam line. This places the water exactly where it is needed. It is best to use a silk organza pressing cloth over the seam. Cotton works well, but silk can stand higher iron temperatures. And also, it is see-through. Use the iron to press the seam open, adding steam if necessary. Then tap along the seam with your fingers to further create a nice crisp seam edge. Reposition the fabric to work along the next area of the seam. Use the dauber to add moisture along the seam line, moistening the dauber when needed. Place the press cloth over the seam. and press the seam flat. Now turn the fabric over so the seam can be pressed from the top side as well. Moisten the seam with the dauber. Place the press cloth over the seam and press. Reposition the fabric and continue pressing the seam. Check to make sure the seam is nice and flat and the seam allowances are pressed open with no wrinkles. Another handy pressing tool is a wooden clapper. After the steps of pressing the seam are completed, then place the clapper firmly on the seam. Any excess moisture is wicked away into the wood, creating a beautiful flat seam. Make and use a dauber for your next sewing project. Thank you for viewing How to Make a Dauber, brought to you by ASG.org. Please visit our website.